I have never been here before. Just decided to explore some new water. Conditions are good. Uh, we've got a lot of overcast. Uh, it was raining quite a bit this morning. Did have a little bit of a cold front come in. Hopefully it doesn't affect the bite too bad. But I'm just excited to kind of explore a new lake. And see what it has to offer. I'd really like to catch five today. I don't remember the last time I caught five bass on a uh, public lake. So uh, that's the goal. Hopefully we can get it done. <laughs> well, at least we got something here. All right, first of the day. Not gonna skunk. I will take it. Thanks, buddy. All right, there's one. I just need to get a few more. Switch over to a Texas rig. Let's see if a little stank will help us. Get in here, hell yeah. Beautiful way to start the morning, that's for sure. Thanks, bud. I like to dye the tips of them chartreuse. There's a lot of overcast. So I like to use natural colors, but just a little bit of that flare on the ends of them. So, let's say that first one was 12 inches. So, so I was a goofball and didn't measure it. That one was 17, so we're at 29. You know, I'd flip that lay down probably five times, and I finally put one right in the V there, right in the fork, and uh, a tiny bit. Oh, I missed 
that up. Dang. Hopefully I didn't get a hook in them. You gotta be kidding me. I was even playing that guy too. Jeez, man. Goofing it up. There's a deer watching me. No more screwing around with these guys. Yeah, Probably about a 14. Maybe a 15. <sighs> 14 and a half. I mean, I'm pretty good at guessing. 14 and three quarters. You have a great rest of your day. There goes the thing. Oh, that's all right. All right, it's another fourteen incher. Yes. Well, that may be. That's probably sixteen. Sweet. That'll 
help the cause for sure. Someone broke off a hook in you. I'll help you out. Looks like it. Dang. Put that over there. Uh, 15. Need one more for our limit. Thank you for biting, sir. So, let's take you through what I got here. This is a Nico Rig Mustad hook. I think it's a number one. And uh, I'm throwing the Gary Yamamoto Senko. To be honest with you, I didn't used to use Senkos. I used to use uh, Yum Dingers because, well, because they're a third of the cost. But uh, I was finding that the Yum Dingers, uh, they didn't like sink down very much. The difference is these Senkos are heavier and they have more salt in them. And so the Wacky Rig works because it kind of gives us like fluttering motion as it falls down and uh, with those yum dingers it just I mean they weren't going down they're just too lightweight but uh, you know they did bite them but uh, I have found them getting a lot more bites the Senko now it does cost seven dollars a package versus three so I better catch them. <laughs> but yeah, so far today they're killing it. So that's number four. We would have had number five if that guy didn't get off the boat. But uh, we still got a long time to go here. It's only eight o'clock. I'm gonna throw one more time to that spot. It's really good. just want to let it sink to the bottom. Oh. Well, we're going through those baits pretty quick. That's okay though. I will buy more. Don't you do it. Heck yeah, there's a limit. I have not caught a limit and I don't even know how long. It's been a long time. Now I guess we get to see if we can upgrade. So my smallest is, I'm going to say 12, because I didn't actually measure that first one. And this guy is 12 and a half. Alright, we're going to go back through this area. Make sure there's nothing I missed. And it's time to move on to a new spot. I really want to get back to that first lay down, that real big one where we had that fish on and he got off right at the boat. Nothing makes you crazier. You quit being stupid. I mean, he wouldn't have been a huge upgrade, but I think he was bigger than 12.
a swing and a miss, man. Got him that time. That's weird. Why do you keep screwing with me, bro? Just eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Mm. I guess it's a quarter. Quarter inch upgrade. Thanks for buying. All right, we left that spot alone where we lost that. Uh, this is the third fish of the day. Working back around to it. It's probably been an hour and a half. So let's see if they've forgotten about us. I'm gonna work a wacky in there towards the fringes first. And then we'll start throwing either the Senko or that uh, pit boss. Right in the middle of it. Hope it works. And then it's gonna be time to move on. I really hope the rain holds off. There we go. Oh, get this guy in the boat. Very nice. Maybe 14. Yep, 14. You're an ornery booger. Thanks for biting, buddy. Yeah, this feels so good. I've been struggling here, catching any fish this year. All right, so now we've gotten rid of that 12 and a quarter. Smallest is 14. No, that maybe not. That's not true. Maybe I do have a 12 inch left. I don't know. I'll have to look. It's like the fourth one I've lost. I think that drag is too loose. Man, we'd be at 10, 11 bass if we could just land them. All right, uh, I think we've milked this area for all it's worth. Great start to the day. Couldn't be happier if I don't catch another fish. Great day in my book. But uh, we're going to make a big move here. We're going to put that motor to the test this morning. And we're going to jump across the lake. Uh, I might stop at like the halfway point. There's a, a boat ramp over there that looks pretty promising where the channel swings right next to it. And then I saw on uh, Google Earth, there's a spot with a bunch of uh, you know, lay downs on the south bank. But probably going to be about a half hour trek so anyways better get going
girl. That was strange. Oh. Oh. Dang it all. I don't know if he would have made a difference or not, but I am not doing a great job of getting him in the boat today. Thanks, buddy. That was pretty awesome. I saw that log in the, oh, a few feet into the water. Threw at that, started reeling up. He came chasing after it and killed it. Smacked it. That's all she wrote for today. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better day of fishing. I've really been struggling to get on a bite this year. You know, kind of get your confidence back, that you know uh, at least how to get a few bites. 
first time at this lake. I really like it actually. The water's clean, not a whole lot of people here today. I don't think I caught anything on a hard bait today. It all came on Senkos and uh, Berkeley Pit Boss. Uh, I was throwing those to wood and really just letting it sit and hang out. And uh, it was getting thumped. You know, some days they're lockjawed and some days they're looking to eat. Today they were looking to eat, so good day, great day. Hope you enjoyed watching.